Mitch Hedberg. I'm back here the second time on the show, and uh, you know this is this is where I had to figure out if the first time was a fluke. It didn't even go that great. It just didn't go bad, and that's what I was happy about. You know, he made me feel at home last time, and uh, sitting in there was really comfortable. I didn't want to leave when he, when he wrapped it up. I was pissed, so I'm excited to be back, man. That's all I can say. Thanks. Well, Howard seems to dig you, so it should be a good time. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully he still does. You know? Maybe he's changed his mind since. <laughs> Maybe he probably hasn't even thought of it, but hey, I got the sugar for the coffee. All right. All right, well, good luck in there, Mr. Thanks a lot. All right, a real funny guy's coming in. He's been on the show once before, Mitch Hedberg. He's coming in to do the news with us. Mitch, uh, funny comic. He's great, man. I'm a big fan of this guy. Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg, Mitch's uh, DVD. Mitch All Together is available in stores now. And if you want any kind of info here, on Mitch, uh, he's got a website, too. MitchHedberg.net. That means somebody took the name... MitchHedberg.com, and now it is MitchHedberg.net. Hey, Mitch. Was this our friend who had the uh, drug problem? <laughs> had is the key word, Rob. <laughs> he had a drug problem, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all you remember about Mitch? <laughs> yes, I look at him and I say, ooh. Yeah, the guy's an amazing talent, Robin. <laughs> and all you remember is the drugs? <laughs> See, that's why you shouldn't do them. I'm amazing because I don't remember your drug problem. Yeah, I, I remember it, man. <laughs> I get, the, I get the same thing. You give one guy oral for coke and you're a drug addict. <laughs> Was that your story? I forget. Yes. Yeah. No, that's not. Uh, well, you know, I, I got the drugs under control now. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you had to take them responsibly? Yeah, just, you know, just for the creative side of it. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch is getting pretty popular because... Uh, what was it? You you did a gig recently and they gave you a limo or something, right? Well, no, you see, I rented a limo on my own. and uh, So that means you're doing well if you rented a limo and you're a comedian. Well, that's the thing, and that's what was embarrassing about it, because it was a college show, and I, I pulled in in a limo and I was late, so that's already embarrassing, pulling in late and you're in a limo. Yeah, you, you have look, no excuse, do you? You, you look like a jackass. And then uh, I wanted to leave, and... Uh, they wanted you, they always wanted to meet you the college kids after the show, and I didn't want to meet him. I said I was sick, so I, 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 the kid wouldn't, he refused to let me go, so I had to run, and then I, I ran out to the limo, and I tried to drive away, but we were stuck in the driveway, you know, it was like, because it was too long, so, you know, he was backing up, reverse, forward, <laughs> reverse, forward, and so it was horrible, man, but, you know, just the fact that I would try to run away in a limo, I thought that was ridiculous, you know, because I'm So just, you mean you did your gig at the college show? Yeah. And then you ran into the limo to escape all the kids? Yeah, and it's just, you know, just, I just look... You look like a jerk. I look, I look bad, man, so... Yeah. So Trying I don't to know. run out, and even the limo couldn't get out. You know, and the limo was jammed. Yeah, you're like the Beatles, man. You're just running into that limo <laughs> to get away. They want you. They yeah. want you. So, yeah. Fans want a piece of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Artie's right. I remember the stories of the things he would do to get drugs. And uh... Who? You. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. No, you know, what I said was a complete joke, Rob. <laughs> I got drugs, and I actually got, I just got, a, I just got a prosecuted. I got the death penalty for uh, possessing Xanax. Really? <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm scheduled for You should try killing somebody. <laughs> yeah, the FCC sentenced me to death for some indecency. That they let you off for. I'll give you a fact about Mitch. Time Magazine once dubbed Mitch the next Seinfeld. So where's your house in the Hamptons? Yeah, that didn't materialize. <laughs> That? that was a long time ago, man. That was like... Um, like 1998, maybe. 98, yeah. And what happened? Um, well, uh, man, you know, I, I'm not cut out for that. I think it was uh, the guy was wrong, obviously. <laughs> By the way, you know that Time Magazine fired that guy, I think. <laughs> yeah, what kind of prediction was that? Yep. They're like, you know that prediction you made about the next Seinfeld? You're gone. Well, he, he's back on the road, so I'm just like him now. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just... Did you get the pilot th thing going and all that? Yeah, we'll try to, but it was a disaster. <laughs> you had your own pilot on Fox, right? N uh, well, you know what, man? I had a, a pilot chance for Fox, but I never even got the script going. I had a pilot for MTV that went south. So, you know, it's the road, man. I'm stuck to live performance. That's all I can do. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I oh, love good. It. Just mm -hmm. that everybody wants you to do more. You know. Yeah, everyone wants you to be a sitcom guy. Exactly. They're always putting. So, how pressure. far did you get? Like, in other words, when they were calling you the next Seinfeld, everyone said, "Hey, we're going to sign you for a TV deal." Yeah. So, did you have any idea what you wanted to do on TV? That's just it. I didn't have an idea. You said I thought I could just roll into Hollywood and just lay back, and they would just tell me exactly what to do. But right. If you did don't I, have an idea, you're screwed. Did anybody give you a script to read? Or uh... yeah, I mean, I had a lot of people. I met with a lot of people, and. Uh, they all had weird ideas. Like the guy who writes with Mike Judge on that cartoon, uh, uh, the, what about the Texas family, the cartoon, what is, I don't know the name of it. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. He, I met with his partner, and he said, I see you as a tennis instructor. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> no, I, so. a, a tennis instructor. <laughs> And, like, was there any, like, an edgy tennis? Because you're kind of an edgy guy, I mean. <laughs> a 
tennis instructor on Xanax. Did he know you at all? <laughs> no, so I see you as like a drug addict. <laughs> drug addict. <laughs> Maybe a counselor, you know, after the drug disaster. There so, you go. So one idea was to have you as a tennis instructor. <laughs> That's a good one. So what did you say to him? Did you say, I, I don't know? I think... just nodded my head in agreement. Just... <laughs> you try anything. You did. You agreed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And what you know? came of it, though? I mean, like, did the guy write a script about you as a tennis instructor? No, he never got that far. The only script that uh, was written about me, uh, I don't even remember what it was about. But it, <laughs> yeah, it must have been memorable. Yeah, it was bad, man. It was bad. Yeah. Just, I just need a good idea. I'm, I'm waiting for it to come, man. Well, what's your stand-up about? Usually they take it that's, from that. That's the thing. I don't know what my point of view is. You know, I didn't, <laughs> and these you don't writers, really have one. Yeah, I don't have one. Me well, neither. He, he yeah. just tells great jokes. Like, that's, there's no sort of theme to it. I he just see. has a bunch of different great jokes. I know what you mean. Like, everyone wants to have a point of view. I have a point of view on everything, but, like, it changes all the time. Exactly. So you don't have that one thing, no. like uh, a Tim Allen, where he talks about, right. you know, fixing things at the house or whatever. That's exactly it. And, yeah. they, and they've had, like, the top, not the top, but some really good writers from Hollywood who just couldn't even figure out my point of view. So, so why don't you just take Tim Allen's point of view? Why don't you fix stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, want, I want to take J.J. Uh, Walker's Dynamite. I want to do that again. <laughs> do that. I, I mean, see, the white J.J. I see you as, like, a serial killer with a heart. Like, you don't, like you don't kill everyone. <laughs> no, you know? I really, I let some people go. Some people, you let them go. Like, that would be a funny show to me. Yeah, you yeah, would be a great villain. Yeah. Like a hippie serial killer, a peaceful uh, one. A serial killer is in remission. You know, I'm just one <laughs> of the guys told me you have a great joke about satellite radio. Can you tell it here? XM radio. Uh, I don't, you know, man. Um, I, I, I don't even know if it's that great. I just said I listen to XM radio. You know, they don't have a lot of commercials on XM. So after a half hour of listening to XM, I'm like, what the hell should I buy? <laughs> <laughs> That's all Could right. you change that joke to serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I would, man. I'm sorry. No. Damn, serious. You There's know, two I, of them. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Hey, actually, he does a funnier joke about cursing on satellite radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do. I say, oh, you're right, man. So I was wondering. I was saying that joke ain't that good, but um, yeah, wasn't there's that good? a better yeah, one. Yeah, I thought well, that joke was good. No, I like it, but hmm, I just surprised it. But serious, you see, I'm serious. You, you know, they say you can swear on here, and I say, uh, um, yeah, because uh, no one can hear it. <laughs> you can swear in the woods too. That's so true. <laughs> yeah, like that's giving me a bit of a sleepless night. A <laughs> joke. Uh, you know, I, I was watching Survivor last night, and it seems to be a common theme to put one black guy on there who's super muscular, who looks like he can beat the crap out of anyone in any challenge, and every black guy on there can't swim. Yeah, they can't do, do much of anything. Well, Never. name all the black people you know that can swim, though. But, you know what? In the islands, there's tons of black people yeah. who swim oh, every really? day. Oh, really? I didn't crazy. know that. Right yeah. None of them are in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to throw this black guy off the show because he couldn't swim. <laughs> If you've watched Survivor, you know you have to be able to swim. Maybe maybe he's good at staying out of water, which is good if you can't swim. <laughs> right. You know. Like, but why would you go and live on an island yeah, that's where challenges are going to involve water? Well, a lot of them move to Manhattan. Hey, look at Mitch won the 1997 <laughs> Seattle Comedy Competition. Yeah, that was high stakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was in that with you? Uh, you know Who'd what? you beat? Oh, uh, man, some uh, Richard something. Richard, you know what, man? But before I won that, uh, I, I made a deal with the second place guy. I said, if you win, let's split the money and vice versa. So I lost half the jackpot. But you're obviously a very good comic. If you're winning all these awards and you're being called the next Seinfeld and everything, can you make a decent living on the road? Yeah, yeah. You oh, know, you that, can. That's the thing. You know, like uh, I didn't know that at first, but uh, you can do it. You you're a headliner it. now, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, like, can you make a, a half a million dollars a year? Oh yeah, easily. Oh, you can easily. Oh, man. You make more than that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think things are yeah, things are going pretty good, man. Things oh, Howard, this guy's a big draw. Mitch Absolutely, Hedberg, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just got to give me a tax shelter now. <laughs> I want to give me an offshore account. Do you actually <laughs> save your money and everything, or are you just well, wild? Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I try to save it, but, you know. Because those sunglasses had to cost a lot of money. Yeah, these, you know, I love sunglasses. That's just one thing I like, you know. Me too. But, um. Uh, <laughs> That's one of the things. That's I one know. of my expenses. Right. But, like, uh, but yeah, because I saw Robert Evans, he had a wall of sunglasses. Like, man, that's my goal. You right. know what I'm saying? But uh, Yeah, but he had a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's my goal. <laughs> right. But, yeah, you can make some good money. But, yeah, I, I spend it um, pretty pretty bad right now. But what do you spend it on? Oh, man. Uh, um, you know what? Uh, I don't even know. It just goes. You know what? I like to pay people for things. Like, I like to hire people who... You know, just to do things that necessary their job. Like, you yeah. know, I hire someone just to, like, you know, carry something or something. Well, <laughs> really? you know what's funny about that? I met this guy, a really rich guy. And uh, he said to me, you know why I work? And then he showed me his art collection. 
And yeah. he goes, I work to collect art. He goes, that's it. Yeah. And I'm going, you're doing that just to collect sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Why, why like not? everybody has their thing. Yeah. You know what, man? Yeah. At least that guy can sell his art. Nobody's buying sunglasses. You'd be surprised. Are those prescription? <laughs> no, no, actually they're not. They're just pretentious. All right. <laughs> but I love sunglasses. I, I, you know, I just love them, man. I, it, it becomes a wall after a while. I can't take them off. Right. But I wear them on stage and people get mad. They go, take them off. I'm like, can't do it. No, that's your thing, man. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, no, no, no. You, I know what you mean. I wear the shades, too. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, why not? I it's like, your look. I don't want anybody seeing me. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? I got things to hide. <laughs> like rapid eye movement. Does he have a girlfriend? <laughs> He's got a wife. I got a wife. Oh, you have a wife. Uh, we're always on the road together, man. We travel Lynn Shawcroft and, and Mitch Hedberg on the road in an RV rolling, keeping it together. Now I remember. She's a comedian, too. She's a comedian, and mm. she, uh, yeah. And you have an RV. We have an RV. It's great, man. You know what? My, I love my RV so much, I don't even go home. I parked it about 10 miles from my house, and I live there now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lived in the LAX parking lot for... You uh, love an RV. Isn't I that funny? It. Like, a lot of people would think that you wouldn't love it. And you yeah, can't wait to get out of it. I love it, man. Why you know, do you love it so much? I don't know, you know. I, I just... Maybe it's... Co I think the cozy factor, you know, the fact that every... I don't necessarily... I like... I'm, I'm sure I would like to have a big house, but... I do like to have like a small a small space too. I think small spaces are cool. I guess it's cool too. You can just drive your house wherever you want. Exactly, man. Like if you know you wake up and you know instead of going to have breakfast, you go down to the like you're like you're in New York right now. Yeah. And, and, and where's the RV? W what do you do? You park it somewhere? It's in LAX right now because you know I had to do a bunch of jumping around. Uh, right, right. I'd love to you know connect the dots and drive each gig. Oh, someone told me your house was in Central Park right now. You have a beautiful view. <laughs> <laughs> How you don't think uh, Bill Maher likes you. Oh, I, just because one time uh, I did a show with him, and it was during a phase where I thought it was cool to have uh, a bag of uh, wine backstage, you know, like wine in a paper bag. So I was just, you know, trying to slug it around him and say, hey, we're, what's up, Bill? But I just think he thought I was a, a dick, and he just didn't care, you know. I just, <laughs> yeah, who cares about him? He didn't particularly like that move? I don't know what it was. I was being nice, but, you know, you can't. I'm maybe sure, he's jealous of you because you won the uh, <laughs> Seattle, the Seattle sure. comedy well, competition. I, yeah, and then, you know, I was a, I was a triple threat because I won Seattle, Portland, and then Eugene. Oh, know. you were taking over the West. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, Tommy Gallagher's on the phone. He's the trainer from The Contender. He's on the TV show every week. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Howard, how are you? What's happening, bro? I was going to talk Everything about that. good. Listen, we're going to the show in Caesars on May 24th, so you can get out and see how the other half of the world lives. What? What, Tommy? We're inviting you to the show. What the show? The final show in uh -huh. Caesars of the Contender on uh, May 24th. So I you can get out there I, I, and see how the other half lives. I love the show, but I hope it makes it to the end with the ratings. I think the Are you kidding me? You think, you think it's going to go through the roof. I think the final show is going to be March 28th. No, no. <laughs> I'll be the only one in the audience. Well, tonight's You're the only one. Sorry, Tommy, what? You're the only one who says that. I mean, this, this show is going to take off big time once it starts I do to love get it. in its regular time slot. Yeah, I love it. It's in its regular time slot. We're waiting. <laughs> it just started in its regular time slot. <laughs> but the, tonight's episode is the episode about the guy who eventually winds up dead, committing suicide. Yeah. No, that's... That's next Sunday. Oh, oh really? Well, this, this is. I'm sorry. This Sunday coming. You're right. 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 Well, this is like Mitch's satellite joke. You should curse on the contender because no one will hear it. <laughs> I know. They got to get that together. They spent like two million an episode, and it's a good show, but nobody's watching it. You need Mr. T. They're watching. How? I, I was on <laughs> the Mr. T yesterday. was there. Mr. Oh, T was in the I audience. He was. In the audience. Yep. Yeah. Oh. You need more of them. You need them to talk. They mm. didn't spend too much time on Mr. T. No, they just showed him for two seconds. Yeah. Mr. T is TV gold. How do you know? But it's it is time? interesting because you see Chuck Norris is in the audience. Audience. They're putting like yeah. faces in the audience. It's hey, funny. Tommy. So, yeah. give me the date again. May what? May twenty fourth at Caesars. It's sold out already. Uh, I don't know yet. You won't we'll go to there. Vegas, Howard. We'll I'm, go I'm thinking. May, is that I'm, a weekend? No. What, what is that? During the week? I think it's a Tuesday night. Uh, Let's go to Vegas. May. Come on, we'll fly you out. What are you talking about? Oh, they'll fly you, us out. You got out. the private jet? Fun. You got the private jet? We'll get it. Howard, it's you. Can Mitch pick us up in his RV? Yep. <laughs> Boy, we'll I'd love go. to go. I would love to just go to Vegas. <laughs> That's a good excuse to go. Vegas rules. So you actually think that this show's about to put show, show and boxing on its good side, what it's really all about? You don't think it's going to start to generate a little uh, its own audience? Uh, hey, you want to know something, man? I'm, y y I ain't the enemy here. I'm telling you, I like the show. I don't know why the public doesn't like it. It's well done. Uh, I, I care about last week's. I was on my feet. Cheering for the dude, you know? Yeah. 
Che- cheering for the guy who won. It was great. I'm against all reality shows that I'm watching. Yeah, it's a good show. But I it's mean, not, this is not really a reality. This is really a drama. The public doesn't seem to embrace it, though. When you get hit in the face, that's reality. Man. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Right? You can get hit in the face on the subway. You know that. Hey, Tommy, did you have a box? Yeah. Did you? Oh, win? I met you once in Kings Point with Mike Wicosi playing poker. Oh, yeah, I know I you. I think you still owe me money. No, I didn't play poker with you. No, not with me, but with Grossman, and uh, I was there. I had to, I came in to, to pick up some papers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you. You're a good guy. Anyway, uh, I, I wish I, you I, luck. You know, I'll let you know about that. You know, because I was thinking about this whole thing with the move to satellite. What the hell am I being so conscientious about work showing up every day? I should be screwing off. <laughs> that's you know exactly what I mean? right. That's, nature. that's why we're inviting you. I know I should take a I, I even said to, I, I should take a couple of, like, I got to go get this um, root canal. Yeah. I said I should have done it during the week and taken Why are you two days for off. The weekend, so yeah. you ruin the whole weekend. I'm going to ruin my weekend. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow to get the root canal, and I'm like, I'm sitting there going, You'll be in bed all "Why am I like what? I I don't want to miss any time on the air." And I'm like, "Wait a second. I don't want to. I don't want people to say I'm slacking off. I'm thinking like maybe I disappear for three days, run off with Tommy in that private jet, and we go watch the contender. Yeah, now you're talking. Are you Why gonna, not? For are gonna, once, are you going to give him a two week notice here? I, I gave him a two-year two notice. Year. I'll tell you what, though. With satellite, uh, I'm going to have to start right away. So now's the time to screw off. Exactly. Let right them know away. exactly where you're coming from. Exactly. That's good. I've got this weird work ethic, man. You like, do, man. I, there's not a there's a week in between you leaving here and that's going That's cool. There. That's cool. I mean, even with like, you know. Like, but you what do you a, mean right away? What is your what is your thought? I'm saying the day we're off here, do we start the next day on satellite? Oh See, but goodness. it's not fair to me. Like, I'm forced to have your work ethic. Because I, I have to be here when you're here. I'm a slacker. But here's what I'm even thinking. It's like like what like what's wrong with me? Like in a way, I should screw off a little bit. Absolutely. Smell the roses. Yeah, you got to deal with the fans, man. They want to hear you and stuff. Right? Yeah, and meanwhile, it's 10 a.m. right now. I should walk right out the door. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. Are you done right now? Well, no. We're supposed to be done. We're supposed to be done. And I'm some... talking to Tommy. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Robin. <laughs> in some markets, we are done, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I should end the show in the middle of a sentence. What am I doing sitting so, uh, here? <laughs> Bye. You're still not going to goof off. Do I'm you thinking, think you could do it? I might do it for Tommy. Wait a second. Hey, hey, Tommy. Yeah. I know I said no Ralph today, but Ralph's on the phone. He wants to tell Tommy what's wrong with Uh-oh. the contender. For the second time, Because I don't think anything's wrong with it. I honestly don't. All, all right. right. Go ahead, Ralph. I'll, I'll indulge First you. of all, I think it's a great show. I mean, by the time you guys get to the fight, I am so into that fight. Okay, so what's can't wrong wait. With what's wrong with it is simple. People are sick of reality shows, and they're just not checking it out. No. How and- come Paris Hilton show works? It's a little it different than reality Be- because this is a new this is a new show. Wait and she's a, a hot second. chick. There's Whoa. no hot chicks on this show. You don't need hot chicks. Survivor got hot, hot guys. Chicks. What are you talking but about? But those hot are chicks. established. Those are established reality shows. This is a new one trying to come in and get an audience. Paris Hilton was a year ago. That was pretty new. And Tommy, what was a year ago? Paris Hilton. That was like uh, one or two years ago. And Tommy's right. The guys are hot. Let's face it. They are <laughs> smoking. It's, it's one of the best shows on TV. All right, Ralph. Y- y- goodbye. That was some analysis. I'm going to write a hate letter to this show. <laughs> yeah, this guy is. Well, Ralph didn't, must... Ralph, he didn't say what was wrong with the show. He just said the audience isn't watching. Uh, yeah, now go fix it, Tommy. Now you know. So we'll fix hey, it. Tommy, what kind of room are you going to put me up in? The best. And are Stallone, you kidding me? Is Stallone going to be there? Of course he is. He's part of the, uh, yeah, he's there every part of the event. With, uh, be there. with what's her name, Jennifer? No, he sits there with Sugar Ray like she, he's his date. Oh. I want that Jennifer Flavin. <laughs> she's probably going to be there, though, up in the room. Well, she's going to be there. Is she? Of course. She, she comes to every fight. No, oh, my... I haven't seen her in the audience. I'm going to hook her up with my girlfriend and watch them make love to each other. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey, get the camera on that, Tommy, up in my room. <laughs> There's good. a reality. While though. you and Stallone are sitting there watching a the fight, I'm going to have two broads going at it right in my room. It'll be a knockout. Good and... country, America. <laughs> it's a great country. This is the best country ever. Hey, Tommy, you married? Yeah. 40 Sorry. years. Sorry. 40 years? Yeah. See, my he can laugh at you. <laughs> Nah, a lot of work involved. You guys know that. I'm going to get back to you. I might screw off that week. All right. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks for everything. Good luck All right, later on the new, uh, new show. Thanks, Thanks, brother. Bye, babe. Right. So you could be one of the faces they show watching the boxers. My, gr- my girlfriend's down in Florida, right? So she, uh, she says to me last night, oh, I missed your voice. I wanted to hear the show. So I called down to the desk at the hotel she's staying at. And she goes, um, what station is Howard Stern on down here? You know, we're thrown off the air down there. So. All right. So uh, the woman goes, uh, if you want to hear him, you have to get satellite radio. <laughs> so she goes, 
No, no, no. He's on the radio now. She goes, no, no, no. She, he is on satellite radio. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So my girlfriend is arguing with her that I'm not on satellite radio, but isn't that weird? Yeah. It's like nobody knows what's going on. I went to a restaurant the other night. The maitre d' was being a nice guy. He says to me, I really miss you on the radio. This is here in New York. I said, you do? He goes, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I miss you. I go, you do? Why are you missing me? He goes, well, I don't have satellite yet. So I said, okay. I knew right away. He was just jerking me around because he ain't no fan. He would know we're on the air. Right. He thinks we're on satellite. Well, a guy said to me the other day, you know, good luck with this satellite thing. And I said, what are you talking about? He goes, well, you know, I hope you get it. I said, we got it. (laughs) (laughs) He goes, oh, you're kidding. You signed? (laughs) There's a lot of confusion about it. Well, when I I saw the article, the the story, and then I read the part that it's not till... Whenever that did surprise me because it did seem like wow, with all the hoopla, it's going to be happening. It right should away. have been immediate. Yeah. yeah, people are confused. A lot of people come up to me and say they love me on According to Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Artie's on an eating orgy today. I bet you don't eat much, Mitch. You know I don't, man. But I like eating. You know when I'm eating, I'm happy, guys. So. Yeah. Someone told me you eat Pringles. Yeah, Pringles, man. You know, I think Pring- you know, I, I want to see. I want to turn things into. I want to do uh, commercials because I, I think a good commercial would be. You know, I think Pringles' initial intention was to make tennis balls. You know, right? But on the Pringles. day that, uh, that the rubber was supposed to show up, a big truckload of potatoes arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's with that Pringles can? I mean, it does look like a tennis exactly. ball can. Oh, that's exactly, funny. man. You Guys, know, we got to change the theme of the company. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Pringles are cool, man. I, I, and I, I like Fritos, you know, Fritos, the Texas Grill Fritos. You ever see those? They have, oh, they yeah. have grill marks on them, literally, man. It's like, you know, it reminds me when we used to have fire up the grill and throw down some Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> me and the old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have a job handing out flyers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. F- no, you know what? But the thing, when you walk in New York, a lot of times people will hand you out flyers. It's like they're saying, here, you throw this away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't give me your garbage to throw away. <laughs> you see, I already think they give away awards in Seattle. All right. Now I see why you won the Seattle Comedy Award. Yeah, man. Now I get it. <laughs> You're two for two, man. I was like, hey, get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just really uh, it's amazing, man. You know. Howard is such his own thing. I, I never expected to be able to go in and hang with him. And I'm just so happy, man. So happy. You guys are I'm going to have my that. wife on next time. Lynn here. We're going to do it two of Team, you and Howard are cute. <laughs> awesome, man. We'll, we'll go look at Caroline's this weekend. Yeah, Caroline's is going to be great. New York, man. This is, this is a good day. Good way to start the day. Awesome. Mitch, I've heard they're, my, they're all going to sell out. I know. We're going to have a great weekend, man. It's all because of Howard. That's the thing you get on Howard, man. The word gets out, you know. Can't, can't beat it. Thanks for coming down, man. I hope to see you soon. Thanks.